for a while, like there was that thought of like, you know, uh, what will I do next? But I really love cycling. Like I pretty, pretty confident I'll still be riding. I don't know how or where. That urge of wanting to change cycling in Kenya too, you know, like to bring another perspective, to bring some, um, some hope, to bring some, you know, something to aim for. Um, and for sure, like having a good cyclist at the top end of uh, um, uh, uh, peloton, that, that keeps me going and that really motivates me, you know, um, to change cycling, to have a different, uh, to have a good life, uh, my family, and you know, that really motivates me. I stopped doing that, like doing things to prove people wrong. Sometimes, yeah, a little bit, but not, it's not the, it's not the motivation. It's, you know, I can only do what I can do. I know I have it. I actually do more to prove myself wrong, you know, like, or to prove myself right, rather than proving other people wrong. Yeah, before MGR was quite tough, but now, um, you know, it has, there's a sigh of relief. To most of us, we kind of didn't have something to aim for in the region. Somebody behind me hit me and then I almost went down. The, like things um, really go badly. You. You keep it inside, like it, keep it somewhere inside and use it in a positive way. We'll see, like uh, for sure, like winning a stage will be, will be really nice. But as we say again, there's really high competition here. You can allow yourself to go either way, you know, like think about it negatively or think about it positively. But having a lot of experience and you know, other riders see me as a leader, especially in Kenya, I have to show by example. My family always motivates me. Like I don't want them to go through what I went through. When things are tough, you know, always ask myself, am I doing it 100%? Um, if no, I'll ask why, um, then I'll have my answer. Satisfying though. It's good to stick one 